Hello dear students and welcome back again. In previous lecture we have studied Liponema pallidum with respect to its morphology and its cultural characteristics. Liponema pallidum it is a spirochid organism and known to cause and human disease known as syphilis. Syphilis it is a sexually transmitting disease and sexually transmitting diseases are also known as venereal diseases. Now in this lecture we are going to discuss the next point that is the resistance shown by Treponema pallidum as well as we are going to discuss some antigenic characteristics of Treponema pallidum. So let us discuss the resistance shown by Treponema. Resistance means for what factor organism is sensitive and for what it, it for which condition it can show tolerance or it can resist that condition. This organism it is temperature sensitive organism. It is very delicate organism, extremely sensitive organism, especially it is thermosensitive organism. This organism can be inactivated at temperature 41 to 42 degrees Celsius within one hour. Manje, yes, as an organism at normal temperature 41 to 42 degrees Celsius, total temperature whatever. For one hour, this organism can be completely inactivated. That's why it is very sensitive very temperature sensitive and delicate organism gets completely inactivated at normal 41 to 42 degrees Celsius. It can also be inactivated at 0 to 4 degrees Celsius means normal storing temperature upon put like organism they are temperature store also. So 0 to 4 degrees Celsius at this temperature this organism can be inactivated within 1 to 3 days. Uh, the transmission of this organism through blood is very less karan ka when the blood sample as your blood as if you blood transfusion karna da the blood upon the ya temperature at all 0 to 4 degrees Celsius for 4 days then within 4 days organism gets completely inactivated because 0 to 4 degrees Celsius within 3 days organism gets inactivated so if we have blood which is used to be which is which is to be used for transfusion purpose if such blood is stored at such temperature for 4 days then organism if it is present in the blood it may be completely inactivated so chances of transmission of this organism through blood gets reduced because of storing at 0 to 4 degrees Celsius for the period of 1 to 3 days or even 4 days so this is a temperature sensitive organism but organisms are eponema it can resist it can remain viable in frozen condition like minus 70 degrees Celsius in 10 percent glycerol so if we add organism in 10 percent glycerol at minus 70 degree celsius then it remains viable for up to 10 to 15 years manjets zara apila treponema pallidum cha culture preserve karaycha store karaycha then how to store that's a temperature ka use kela pahije we should use temperature minus 70 degree celsius in 10 percent glycerol so add the suspension of organism in 10 percent glycerol and store it at temperature minus 70 degrees Celsius, which is a freezing temperature. And at this temperature, organism remains stable, live, viable. Similarly, if organism is stored in liquid nitrogen, if liquid nitrogen is stored in preservation, it is a common method, pretty costly, but common method. In liquid nitrogen at temperature minus 130 degrees Celsius, again this organism can be preserved or it remains viable for the period of 10 to 15 years okay so this organism at high temperature gets completely denatured completely inactivated but at freezing temperature like minus 70 degrees celsius or even at minus 130 degrees celsius this organism remains stable it remains viable okay similarly if you use certain chemical agents like if we use bismuth or arsenicals metals like arsenicals or mercury heavy metal like mercury or even we use antiseptic agents so if you use bismuth arsenicals or common antiseptic agents common antioxidants mercury this organism can be completely inactivated so inactivation of this organism can be used can be done by using certain chemical agents like bismuth arsenicals Heavy metal like mercury can be used to kill the organism 
organism gets completely inactivated. Normal antiseptic agents are also enough to kill this organism or antioxidant agents are also enough to kill this organism. So these are some resistant property. It shows resistance to freezing temperature while it is sensitive to 40 plus temperature, 40 degrees Celsius plus temperature or even at 0 to 4 degrees Celsius organism can be inactivated and can also be inactivated by using certain chemical agents. So these are some resistant properties shown by Triponema palata. Next that is antigenic characteristics of Triponema. Next point antigenic characteristics. Antigenic characters of Triponema palata. This organism it shows two types of antigens. It shows two types of antigens. These two types of antigens are first specific antigen, specific antigen, and second type is non-specific antigen. So it has two types of antigens like specific antigen and non-specific antigen. Now specific antigen is again divided into two types and these two types are first group specific antigen group specific antigen and second species specific antigen species specific antigen so there are two types of antigens found in the Treponema pallidum specific antigen means that the Treponema pallidum is specific as well but the Treponema pallidum is not and non-specific means that antigens which are present in Treponema as well as in some other animals also ok now first let us discuss specific antigen specific antigen are again divided into two categories group specific antigens and species specific antigen now what is the meaning of this group specific antigen it means this type of antigen is found in all species of Treponema Treponema is a species mother even including pathogenic as well as non pathogenic strains of Treponema so it is present in all pathogenic and non pathogenic strains or species of Treponema that's why it is called a group specific pathogenic species so it is we can say that this is a common antigen common ka kare to jawal sagras prakasha Treponema madhe Treponema madhe mahatva asa manje ka fakt Treponema madhe sir pan Treponema cha sagras species madhe to balayla milto that's why it is called a mass or a group specific antigen most commonly it is found in the writer strain it is most commonly observed in the writer strain. Tamil Kayaki Javapla syphilis diagnosis karaisa. Syphilis, there are different types of syphilis. Okay, and I will syphilis diagnosis karaisa. Triponema causes variety of diseases. And Triponema is a gas specific of the heart group specific antigen. Tamil Javapun syphilis diagnosis karaisa. There are no hair antigens used for the sugar. Nahi. Kara hair antigens, Triponema is a pathogenic strain with the sugar. And non pathogenic with the sudha. Syphilis cause karnara strain with the sudha and non syphilis strain with the sudha. Then, when syphilis the diagnosis are the upon group specific antigen use karu shakat nahi. Okay, because these type of antigens are found in almost all strains or species of treponema. That's why it becomes very difficult to diagnose the syphilis caused by treponema pyrid. On the other hand, the species specific antigen. These are found only in certain species. Species specific antigen, these are found only in Triponema pallidum. It is found in Triponema pallidum. Then it is also found in the Triponema pertinu, Triponema pertinu, and Triponema karate. So it is found only in these species. Triponema Pallidum, Triponema pertinu and Triponema keratinum. Only in this species, this type of antigen is found. 
ओके स्पेसिस स्पेसिफिक एंटीजन मींस दीज आर फाउंड ओनली इन सर्टन स्पेसिस सगळ्या स्पेसिस मध्ये नाही एपोनेम चे काही ठराविक स्पेसिस मध्ये बघायला मिळतं त्याचे एग्जांपल आहे इट इज फाउंड इन एपोनेमा पॅलिडम इट इज आल्सो फाउंड इन इट इज स्पेसिफिक टू एपोनेमा पर्टिन्यू एज वेल एज एपोनेमा कॅलाटियो दिस टाइप ऑफ एंटीजन आर नोन एज स्पेसिस स्पेसिफिक एंटीजन एंड दीज आर केमिकली पॉलीसैकराइड्स इन नेचर केमिकली शु कार्बोहायड्रेट्स आहेत सो दीज आर केमिकली पॉलीसैकराइड्स इन नेचर On the other hand, non-specific antigen. अतः non-specific आहे तेस मीनिंग काय की these are found in Trypanosoma as well as in other animals also. मुझे specific नहीं है Trypanosoma से. Species specific मुझे फक्त Trypanosoma से मधे बगाल मिलता है. कहीं species मधे बगाल मिलता है पर फक्त कहीं क्या Trypanosoma जस species जस. इतर जो जो सगाय species मधे बगाल मिलता है पर त्यास सगाय species फक्त Trypanosoma जस. मुझे इतर Trypanosoma specific है, Trypanosoma specific है. But this type of antigen, these are non-specific. These are found in Trypanosoma as well as in other mammals. These are also found in the heart of bovines. So non-specific antigen are found in Trypanosoma, in the tissues of mammals as well as in the heart of bovines. That's why these are called non-specific antigen. Non-specific antigen chemically, these are cardiolipin. These are cardiolipin. हेलो अपन cardiolipin हों तो and cardiolipin हे chemically phosphate इधर glycerol है, fat acid. These are chemically fat acids. So chemical nature is phosphate इधर glycerol. So what is cardiolipin? Cardiolipin it is and phosphate इधर glycerol. It is an kind of lipid and phosphate इधर glycerol that forms cardiolipin. Cardiolipin it is an antigen. Which is present in Trypanosoma as well as in mammals as well as in bovines. Non-specific cardiolipin antigen. Cardiolipin to me, upon uh, RPR test more used to Similarly, because it is present in the Trypanosoma pallidum. So Trypanosoma pallidum, the diagnosis that you can use to this organism or this cardiolipin antigen can be used to diagnose Trypanosoma pallidum, which causes syphilis disease. So the antigenic properties or the antigenic characters, all of the antigens are divided into two categories: specific and non-specific antigens. Okay. So till now we have studied morphology of Trypanosoma pallidum. We have studied cultural characteristics of Trypanosoma pallidum. Then registers shown by Trypanosoma pallidum. We have studied the antigenic characteristics of Trypanosoma. The most important now, the disease caused by Trypanosoma, that is syphilis. So next point is syphilis. Now we are going to discuss the syphilis disease caused by Trypanosoma pallidum. Syphilis. Syphilis, it is a sexually transmitting disease. And sexually transmitting diseases are also known as venereal diseases. So what is venereal disease? Venereal disease means sexually transmitting disease so syphilis is an venereal disease sexually transmitting disease caused by an spirochete known as trypanosoma pallidum initially has a organism like trypanosoma pallidum kiwa jo disease hai it was initially uh, in early early 16th century it was observed in the monkeys in africa आफ्रिका मध्य जो मंकीज है मंकीज मे हा ऑर्गेनिजम पैया ऑब्जर्व किया मोस्टली ऑब्जर्व क्या फॉर्म के जाए बट लेटर ऑन इट इज ऑब्जर्व इन द्यूमन बींग्स इट इज अज्यूम दैट दिस ऑर्गेनिजम फ्रॉम आफ्रिकन मंकी इट इज स्प्रेड टू अमेरिका सो अमेरिका मध्य जे आफ्रिका मध्य जे मंकीज है मंकीज माइग्रेट जाए मंकीज कुछ आए अमेरिका मे आए अमेरिका मे मग तो डिज ट्रांसमिट वाला It is also assumed that initially, the organism has syphilis caused by the Trypanosoma pallidum. It was spreading from uh, spreading by contact, touch contact, means person to person transmission through physical contact. मुझे directly जब एक जा person ला Trypanosoma pallidum से infection है, आसा person तो दूसरा person ला touch करता है, तो disease can be transmitted, organism can be transmitted. मुझे initially it was not sexually transmitting disease. It was a contact borne disease. As I assume, Kerala is. But later on, because human evolved, the human started wearing clothes, 
and because of which organism evolved and organism becomes sexually transmitting organism so pehle to direct contact touch contact mein to spread hoga sir but later on organism because human has evolved organism also evolved and organism become restricted to a particular way of transmission and that is venereal mode of transmission that is sexual mode of transmission okay then from america this this is transmitted to europe and it is assumed that from america to europe it was transmitted through columbus sailors columbus jeva america mun europe la return jale ya tyacha ji kai tyanchi naav hoti kya naav mate je sailors hote bhavik hote त्या कोलंबस सेलर्स त्यांच्यामुळं तो ऑर्गॅनिझम ते पोलिम पॅरेडम हा अमेरिकेतून युरोपमध्ये ट्रान्समिट केला गेला दिस इज अन अझम्शन सो इनिशियल ऑब्झर्व्ह इन द आफ्रिकन मंकी देन थ्रू मंकी इट वॉज ट्रान्समिटेड इन द अमेरिकन ह्युमन पॉप्युलेशन देन फ्रॉम अमेरिका ट्रान्समिटेड टॉस प्रेड टू युरोप थ्रू द कोलंबस सेलर्स दिस आर सर्टन अझम्शन ब्रीफ हिस्ट्री अबाउट सिफिलिस ॲक्च्युली द वर्ड सिफिलिस it is derived from and poet known as it is derived from the poet name poet name fracastorius a poet fracastorius this poet he wrote a poem known as syphilis there is syphilis now i think poem is काल काय सिफिलिस समोर आउट दे झालं अमेरिकन पॉप्युलेशन मध्ये आणि त्यामुळे त्यांनी एक पोएम लिहिली दॅट पोएम वाज नेम सिफिलिस अँड फ्रॉम वेअर द दिस इज नेम सिफिलिस वाज डिराइव्ड सो द नेम ऑफ दिस इज सिफिलिस वाज डिराइव्ड फ्रॉम द नेम ऑफ पोएम सिफिलिस बाय फ्रॅकास्टोरियस आणि त्यानंतर मग सिफिलिस दिस इज चा स्टडी स्टार्ट झाला किंवा त्याच्यानंतर त्याच्यानंतर मग त्याच्यामध्ये बरेच डिटेल्स आपल्याला स्टडी करायला मिळतो so this is a syphilis disease there are two types of syphilis acquired syphilis and congenital syphilis that we will discuss in the next lecture so this is all about today's lecture thank you so much